So we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 here. And today I'm going to show you how to use the dedicated button and remap it to open up the Google Assistant instead of Bixby. Now one of the first updates to Bixby Voice is the ability to remap either the double press or the single press function of the Bixby button. So as of right now I have a double press setup that will launch this feature. However if we go down into the Bixby voice settings we have a Bixby key option right here. Now I have chosen there's no way to disable the Bixby button via this method. I'll go over that in a future tutorial. Today I just want to show you how to open up Google Assistant whenever you press this button once instead of this button opening up Bixby whenever you press it once. Even after you have added this functionality, a double press of this button will continue to open up Bixby. You will need to use a combination of this and the future tutorial that I'm talking about to get rid of Bixby entirely. So like I said, we're going into the Bixby voice settings area. This is the Bixby voice page. We're going to go into settings. We're going to scroll down and we're going to tap on the Bixby key option. And we're going to select the double press to open Bixby option. Now once we tap on this double press to open Bixby option, it gives us a toggle to use a single press as a different function. So whenever we enable this, we can run a command, a very uh, specific Bixby voice command, or we can open up an application. Now there are a lot of applications here, sadly. Samsung is preventing us from using this button to open up Google Assistant. It's preventing us from opening up Alexa. And it's preventing us from opening up Cortana. So they really, really, really want us to use this button to, for only Bixby Voice for its personal assistant. However, thanks to a little trick with Tasker, I have been able to ex to create and export a APK file that is just a simple application that we install. So to do this, you're first going to need to download this APK file and install it onto your device. This is just a simple APK application I have named it assistant that I have created with tasker and if you see here this is the specific application that I have created with tasker I've just exported it as an app that way whenever we tap that button the assistant button it immediately goes into Google Assistant's voice feature so while Samsung is preventing people from actually remapping that Bixby button from opening up very specific applications, we can bypass this by creating our own application. So all you have to do is download this APK file that's linked on my website, and you'll find a link to this full tutorial in the video description for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. All you have to do is install it after you have downloaded it and you're going to see it, like I said, right in your app drawer. And again, that's all it does. You, once you open it, it just opens up Google Assistant. So since Samsung is not hard coding these Tasker apps, we can simply select this button or this application Again, I just named it Assistant. 
That way, when we do a double press, it continues to open up Bixby Voice just like you would expect, but a single press now opens up Google Assistant. I wanted to keep this video as well as the main tutorial very brief because most people are just going to want to install an application and then set it up exactly like I showed you. However, in the full tutorial, which again is linked in the video description, I'm going to have the actual task or process of how to create your own application just in case you don't trust the APK that I am hosting for you, or if you just wanted to do it yourself, you'll have both the simple way of just installing the APK as well as the longer method of using Tasker and the Tasker App Factory in order to export a task as an as an application. So both of these methods will be included in the full tutorial for how to remap and launch the Google Assistant whenever we do a single press of the Bixby button.